Okay, so today I'm be ranking every anime that I've seen. I haven't seen a lot. I haven't seen a lot. I've only seen about 50. I'm a very mainstream guy, you know, and I'm sure I've seen a couple more than the ones that I have on this list right now. But these are all, this is about everything I could think of. I think I, I had to have seen a couple more though, no doubt. But basically how it works, how I'm going to be doing it. If I've even watched one episode, I have it on here because I'm just putting from my experience. You know, obviously I could think the first episode is C tier, but the show is actually an S tier show. But I'm just going off of what I know from the show that I've watched. And I have an A plus and a B plus ranking because I seem to have a lot of mix up when it comes to the A and the B category. C is average, D is like a little bit below average, and then F is obviously F. But with the A, B, I felt like I need some pluses in there. You know what I'm saying? So I have that, and I'm just going to hop right into it. High Q, I think, is a B tier show. I think it's a little bit above average, but it's not in that B plus range. So I think High Q is very solid where it is. Parasite, I think for me, is a A tier show. Parasite for me is definitely an A tier show. I mean, it is a top. It's not top tier. It's a great show though. It's a great twenty four episode show. Follows character who has great character development. He ends up completely switching the script. He starts off as like a dweeb, I think, and then he just becomes an absolute animal with his little parasite friend. And it's it's a good show. It's a really good watch. It's a quick watch. I would definitely recommend that. Hunter Hunter. Now, when I first watched this show, within the first week. I watched this shit every day. I watched about, I don't know, but I binged this show every single day. It was really, really good. If you caught me as soon as I watched it, I would probably put an S tier. I'm going to put an A plus because A, it is incomplete. And then B, that's really about it. That's a plus, it's A plus because it is incomplete for me um, and for everyone, obviously. But it's an incomplete show and I don't think I could put it in S. You know, I just don't feel complete with the i don't i don't feel complete but the roster the character roster is great the whole story that they have going is great it is just so top tier and it is so upsetting that it may never finish we'll have to see but it it's very possible that it does never finish you know what i'm saying um death note also an a plus um reason why death note is an a plus for me it's just about a great it's just about to get into s tier but there are boring moments for me in death note you know first First half, because there's 48 episodes, so the first 24 episodes, S tier, no doubt about it. The second half was about a B. You know, it really it really got boring at some points with Nier and all the shit was, that was going on. So that's why it's not going to be an S tier show for me. And that's just my honest truth about it. Next on the Future Diary, Slept On Show. I think Future Diary is a B plus. It's not in the A range, but it's a really good show. It's a really good show, and it's not B because it's better than Q. And I think some people sleep on Future Diary. I enjoyed damn near every single episode of the show. The main character, Yuki, he pissed me off sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you. But other than that, the whole show was very intense, gory. They got shit, like, they got straight to the point. And it was a really good piece of work, honestly. And the way it ended was very confusing, but it made sense. And it was, it was, it was really intense. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I... I really I like Future Diary. A lot of people don't, but I really like it. Samurai Champloo. I want to put an S tier. I do. The ending was a little strange, though. I'm not going to lie to you. From what I can remember, the ending was strange. But just the whole aesthetic and the opening and the whole feel of the show, I really like. I I honestly was never bored with the show. And it was, it was a slower paced type of show. But it, there was something about it. It was like very real. And it seemed very down to earth. I loved the show. I'm putting S tier. I love Samurai Champloo. I'm going to keep it real. I've been waiting to get to Fire Force. I've been waiting to talk about Fire Force. Man, it's not even. I heard it gets even better. And I'm putting this shit in A. I don't care. People really say Fire Force is a mid show. I don't know how. The story, I think the story is an above average story. You know, it's not as great as it's going to get. But what they've shown, they've been showing some some glimpses like the Amaterasu's or whatever it's called. And like the seven pillars or eight pillars. Like they have they have a solid plot going right now. And it's building. Like, don't even get me started with the animation and the sound effects. You're not getting that shit from any other show. Stop playing, man. I mean, you can get like good animation. But it just, everything comes together in Fire Force. All of the characters. 
all the characters are so so good everyone's different and like the powers the different ways they utilize fire it's just so good like i don't understand why people actually don't like fire force genuinely i understand there may be like a couple episode stretch where it may get boring in like season one season two was like good the whole time from what i can remember but season one i can understand but Fire Force is goaded, man. I'm not going to lie to you. I love me some Fire Force. I really do. And I heard it only gets better. I heard it only gets better. I'm keeping Fire Force an A, to be honest with you. Promise Neverland. Hey, if we're talking season one, that's S. If we're talking season two and season one, B. It's not in C, but it's, it's in B. It's in B. Yeah. Tower of God. Great show. I would put it on par with Fire Force. I I enjoyed every single episode of Tower of God. Every all the twelve episodes I enjoyed it constantly get got better. I've never I personally have never watched a show like it. I'm sure there are many shows like it, but I personally have never watched a show like it. So I was really oh gosh, so water on my glass. So I was really enjoying it. So I was really enjoying it, and I enjoyed the whole experience, you know, and I'm, I'm excited for season two. I don't know where it is. I, I haven't heard any shit on it, but I need me a season two after that ending. Damn. But no, moving on, we got Blood Blockade Battlefront. Um, I think there were two seasons, if I can recall. I watched all of season one, and I started season two. I don't remember. From what I've seen, it was good, but it was very there were some really top tier episodes, but there's some really not good ones either. I would put it in C. I think it's an average show. I think it does get better from what I've heard. I just never really got the chance to get back into it. I'm going to keep it real. I just never did. From my experience, I personally think it's C tier from what I've watched. I'm sure it at least hit to B, but I just haven't seen it to that point. So I have to go off of what I've seen. Also, the same thing with Tanya the Evil. I watched about four episodes, and I think there's like eight or 12 and it was, it was, the concept was interesting. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. For me, I, I would put it in D. It wasn't the best to me, honestly. It's a, a little bit below average for me. Uh, next, we got JoJo's. JoJo's. A+. Plus. A+, plus because, again, the same thing with Death Note. JoJo gets good. Part two was good. I thoroughly enjoyed part two. Part one took me about a month to get through, and it was only eight episodes. <laughs> but part two was really good, and then the beginning of part three was very dragged out. And then once you hit that second half of part three, it's balls to the wall from there. And I think those little pockets of boringness really what is what keeps it from S tier for me. You know, like with Samurai Champloo, I enjoyed like every episode. As I said, the ending was slightly weird from what I can remember, but every episode I enjoyed, and it was just like a very cool environment. Very, I don't know. I just had a really enjoyable time watching Samurai Champloo. And I enjoyed the fuck out of JoJo too. But I mean, there were some boring parts. There were. It was not perfect. It was definitely not perfect. It seemed like the they didn't know what they were doing at first, and they actually realized what they wanted to do, and then that's where it started to pick up. So I was like, okay. A+. Plus. Tokyo Ghoul, probably one of the best season ones I've ever seen. I'm going to keep it real. Honestly, top tier season one. Season two was okay. B tier. Yeah, I would say B tier. Uh, Tokyo Avengers, man. See, the problem I have with Tokyo Avengers, and I think this was just everyone talking about it i expected so much more going into it that i wasn't really impressed until about like episode 11 or 12 which is a lot of episodes to like you know really get into a show but after that it was good i can't put it in a plus i want to i'm biased i want to put in a plus but i'm gonna put in a tokyo avengers is an a tier show it's not an a plus show because there was it was it was slightly just boring for me at the first half of the show it was a little boring like i was like okay he's trying to save this girl so what like it didn't really get deep until like the middle so but no it's an a tier show i want to say a plus damn near s but i know once i kind of come down from this bias perspective it's like an a tier show attack on titan s tier show no doubt 
no doubt. For me, Attack on Titan's an S tier show. I have enjoyed Attack on Titan from episode one to episode whatever the fuck it's on now. I've enjoyed every single episode. I know in I know in season four there were a couple like iffy ones that were all plot. It was all plot. All the plot in Attack on Titan damn near is all interesting. I've never really been bored with the show. Never. I've never been bored with the show. It's just, and I just got spoiled. Oh gosh, I'm remembering. I just got spoiled on something too. I got a lot of season four part two spoiled for me. I'm not going to lie to you, but what can you do? S tier. That's all I'm saying. On to the next one. Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga. I'll say A2. No, A plus. A plus, man. A plus. Vinland Saga is just a completely different take on a show. I, I I personally have never seen an anime on Vikings. I don't even know. I'm sure there are. It has to be some, but I haven't seen one. And from episode one, from what I can recall, it was interesting the whole time. And you really see Thorfinn develop. You know, he was a kid when the show started. And you see him develop throughout the 24 episodes. Askeladd is the one of the best fucking antagonists. There's another word for him, though. He's like a good antagonist. And I don't know the word for it. It's a something -ganist. Um No, but... Uh, the characters in that show. The whole plot that they had going. It was just such a good season one, man. It was so good. It was so good. And I'm going to have to give it a plus. I am. I am. If that's a little crazy, I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm going to have to give it a, a plus. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to talk about Bleach. <laughs> I don't. I want to give Bleach S here, but if I'm being real, I have to be real, come down to earth really quick. Lots of filler, upsetting, right? All of the canon arcs, I didn't not enjoy one other than the Fullbringer. The Fullbringer really takes it away from me, um, and the filler. Realistically, I would give Bleach an A tier for me. I really, I'm a Bleach fanboy. I really am. I love Bleach. I love Ichigo. I love the cast of characters. The enemy, the God, what a diverse cast. I love Bleach, man. That's all I gotta say about it. Demon Slayer is also a B plus tier. When I was doing my new gen tier list with a couple of my friends, they were hyping the fuck up out of Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is a great show. Don't get me wrong. I love the movie, love the animation, the story. I think Fire Force has a deeper story than Demon Slayer, and I think people like would disagree with that. But I mean, Demon Slayer is literally there's Muzan. Tanjiro got his family killed, and he has Nezuko, Inosuke, and Tenitsu, and they're trying to find him, and they're just fighting demons, and then they just happen to find the stronger group of demon slayers, like, I, it's not that deep right now, I don't know if he, if he, uh, I can't even speak, I don't even know if it's even gonna get deeper than that, you know what I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's bad by any means, I love demon slayer, and I'm hyped to see the entertainment district arc, I really am, I'm, but I mean, the story is like, not tippity top tier right now you know the animation is great i think the all the fights are great but i mean it's not i think it's slightly like it's not a range but it's b plus for me that's where i'm gonna put it shield hero from what i've seen and i heard it's getting great i heard shield hero is actually doing really big things like it's a really good show um and i watched till about when he unleashed his demon shield for the first time and then he went on like that airboat and that lady came down I think that's how it went. Um, so that's the last thing I saw. I'm gonna give Shield Hero a B. I'm gonna give it a B. I think people may think it's better or worse. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a B from what I've seen. It was an interesting show. I just have to also catch up on that one too. I've been invested with uh Tensura. I have. I love me. I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Re Zero. I have to catch up on a lot of fucking shows. Damn. Um, Re Zero. I hate to say it, A+. Plus. I mean, episode 7, I think it was, was probably one of the most insane episodes of an anime. Obviously, I haven't seen a lot. But one of the most insane episodes of an anime I've seen when Rem gets killed, I think it is. Yeah, when Rem gets killed by Betelgeese. And then she, her whole body is contorted. There's like no censoring on that shit. It is so like intense. You see Subaru just flipping the fuck out. And you see him walking out in the snow. Ram's dead. 
he I think he's carrying he's carrying Rem I think if I recall and then you see him walk to the castle Puck I think that's the cast name is big as fuck and then she's like you killed my daughter or whatever she said and then you just see Subaru freeze head falls off credits roll I was sitting there in shock I was like what the fuck I was like what's this what was that like it was so something it was some I don't know the word for it but it was something and it was it was hitting and the plot it doesn't get boring it really doesn't get boring I just there was a couple episodes at the beginning of season two I think that were boring with Otto but other than that it really doesn't get boring it's a good show that I really need to catch up on the cast of characters is it's a good cast it's a good cast of characters too the action is there a little bit not the best action but the story really helps it you know it's a it's a plus for me I really really like the show and I do have to catch up on it Pokemon Pokemon's an anime. Everyone's seen Pokemon. I mean, I think I'd be doing it a disservice if it's not in the A tier. You know what I mean? From the Pokemon I've seen as a kid, I'm just going off of enjoyment. I just, I just enjoy seeing the little Pokemon fighting each other. You know what I mean? I never really paid attention to plot, but from what I remember, A tier. Uh, Naruto, including Shippuden. Um. A plus. It's not S tier. It's not S tier for me. But Naruto is an A plus show. Obviously, there's filler and there are just some boring parts in Naruto. But other than that, I mean, there's really nothing to talk about. It's Naruto. You know what I mean? Boruto, on the other hand, realistically, in terms of the anime, realistically, unfortunately, I would have to give it. <sighs> I'm giving it a C. I am. It's not, uh, no, it's below average. It is. No matter how much I like the better parts of Boruto, and I love the best parts, like the fights with Naruto and Sasuke, Boroshiki. I love me the good parts, the canon, but there is just so much filler. And there, some of it is good. No, I have to say C. I might need to add a C minus category, but I don't even know if I can. I. I'm adding a C minus, and that's just for Boruto, man. I I had to. I had to do it. Because it's just like. It's not D. It's not D tier. But. I don't think it's an average show. I think it's slightly, slightly below average. Because there are some good filler. Like with the rock people. And when Mitsuki went like Super Saiyan. I thought that was some good filler. And I thought with um that one Otsuki. Otsuki, however you say his name, I forgot his name with the fishing pole guy who they really nerfed bad. He was weak. He shouldn't have been. A, oh gosh, he was nerfed bad. But I thought that was interesting in its better parts. They did drag it out a lot, but I mean, it was interesting. And then the tuning exams, of course, that was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, there were some really good Boruto moments, but it was just <laughs> covered up by the amount of fucking filler it has, you know? So, I mean, I'm going to give it a C minus. That might be the, just the Boruto tier, honestly. I don't think anything else is going in C minus, to be honest with you. Next, we got Dr. Stone, A plus, man. Damn near an S tier show. Dr. Stone? If you haven't watched Dr. Stone, and people, I can understand, I can understand why people may not want to watch Dr. Stone because it is a science show. There's no, I, people watch anime for action. I understand that. It's just a different type of show, different take on a show. It is really, really interesting. And the fact that like a lot of the scientific facts are real and like you actually kind of learn stuff. It's like really integrative. You know, I really like it. I love the main character. I love all the characters. And then the Sukasa thing, it was all good. And I think they just go even deeper and I'm really excited to see it. I mean, Dr. Stone's A tier for me, A plus tier, I think is better than every show. In the A plus in the A category, I do think it's better than Tokyo Avengers too. Doctor Stone has been interesting from episode one to right now. I don't think there's really been a boring episode of Doctor Stone. I'm gonna keep it real. The time I got reincarnated as a slime. I'm a fanboy of this show. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just love the environment. Now, granted, I'm about 17 episodes into season one, and it it takes a little bit to kind of pick up. But it's starting to pick up really nice. And I just love all the characters. I love Rimuru. Rimuru, however you say his name. I love him. He's like, I don't know. I just, I like, I like how he like interacts with everyone. And how people kind of just join him. Because he's ridiculously strong. And then 
I don't know. I just really like the world. I love. I, I, there's something about it, man. I really like this show, and I would honestly put it in B plus. It's not A tier, but I like it just as much as Future Diary and Demon Slayer, just on the lower end. You know, I I do. I really like the show. I do. I really really like the show. Next we got Moshoko Tensei. Moshoku Tensei. The great Isekai. Is it A tier or B plus for me though? I heard season two came out. I haven't watched it yet. I say A tier. I like it. It's a good show. It's a really good show. Um, Mushoku Tensei is a really good isekai. Definitely should watch it. That's really all I got to say about it. Twin Star Exorcist is probably going to be my only F tier. I watched this in about 10th grade and I I didn't like it at all. I don't know what it was. And it was always being advertised on the front page of Crunchyroll. So I was like, this has to be good. Something about the show didn't resonate with me well. I wasn't a fan of it. I dropped it within like, I think I had 24 episodes. I think I watched about 12 of them. It just wasn't good to me. I really, really didn't like it. And it may be good. It may be genuinely good. I just don't like it at all. I don't. Akame got kill. B plus tier for me. I mean, the show is good. First watch, I might give it A. No, it's a good show. It's a really good show. I mean, the way the show ended was kind of ridiculous, but they had some really gory moments in there and some really just insane, intense moments. And it it was good. It was really, really good. Next, FMAB, another S tier. S tier show. I mean, if there was like a perfect show, I really think it's Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. I don't, like, I don't know. There's just, it does everything great. Everything about the show is great. With Attack on Titan, I've said this many times, Attack on Titan takes like some perfect moments and makes them even more perfect. And then Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood just feels like a string of perfect events that don't exceed that limit. But I think it's like one of like the most perfect works of anime you know what i'm saying i don't know it is just really good i don't think there's anything wrong with the show personally for me and it's an s tier it is an s tier show food wars b tier i enjoyed it it's not average but i enjoyed food wars i enjoyed it in its better moments you know i i did food wars was good i, I haven't watched the whole thing i heard it gets a little repetitive but from what i've seen i enjoyed it fairy tale i watched about 20 episodes of this show I know I don't have a valid opinion on shows that I really haven't watched like that, but from what I've seen, because I know it hasn't picked up yet, I would put it in C. I could see the potential. I could see what it was trying to do. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it at the time when I tried watching it. Elfin Lead. Gory show. Gory show. B, B tier. It's good. I would maybe even give it a B plus. It's a good show. It's a good watch. It's a, it's a good watch. It's very intense. It is a little slow at first from what I remember. But it is just like a very grim show. I would definitely recommend watching this. 91 Days, also a good show. I would put 91 Days. I enjoyed damn near every single episode of 91 Days. I would put it in B plus too. 91 Days was a good show. It was, and the opening was so good. Holy shit. That was a good one. Yeah, 91 Days was good. Dragon Ball Z. I know the story. I played the games. I watched a solid bit of the anime. I haven't, I haven't watched it in completion. But from what I know, B tier. That's just my opinion. I think, I think it's a good show. I do think sometimes it is because it's an older show. You know, shit's gonna be drawn out a lot more, and it's gonna be a more sort of annoying pacing, which is understandable. And I just think it's, I think it's a little bit above average. You know, it it was an OG. Did great, did great things. You know, great moments, great arcs. It, it very boring moments too, though, for me. So that's that's what I'm gonna put it at. Cowboy Bebop. There are some boring moments. A plus though. It's a classic, 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 classic. Very good, very good main character, very good main cast. One of honestly, out of all the shows I've seen in terms of a main cast, one of the best main cast of characters that I've probably watched in any of these anime that I've seen. Everyone is so likable. The dog, so good. The kid, Faye Valentine, Jet, I think the guy's name is in the spike. What a good cast of main character. I love all of them, man. And the whole aesthetic and the idea of the show, the whole space cowboy thing, 
you're not getting that in any of the show. That's such like an original idea. And then like working with space and then bounties and all that shit. Like it. Oh gosh, it was so good. After I watched it, I was like, damn, I wish like we could do that. You know, like I was like, damn, I wish we could hop in our own spaceship and go fucking hunt bounties in space. It was really good. I enjoyed that. I don't think people are gonna like this one. I think Jujutsu Kaisen. A plus. I know. I know. It is. It is. It may be a hot take. Because keep in mind. I'm ranking these off of what I've seen. I've seen the first 24 episodes. The first season of Jujutsu Kaisen. And I enjoyed every single episode. I enjoyed the soundtrack. The animation. The characters. Everything. It was fucking great. It was non-stop action non-stop great animation i mean i don't see what else that like there is to say the story obviously and that's why it's not an s tier the story as of right now is lacking all there was tournament arc and sukuna and then mahito pulled up and then was causing a little havoc i heard it gets a lot deeper though and a lot more insane and i'm very excited to see it kind of got spoiled with someone and i'm very upset about it but it's fine it's fine it's fine but jujitsu kaisen i mean its first season alone is an a plus it is its first season alone is an a plus for me as fire forces first one and two seasons were an a tier you know that's how i'm judging it obviously in completion when the show is over it may be s it may be lower or the same but i'm just judging it off of its first season so a plus first season god of high school I would put it in C. I would put it in C. I, I didn't I never got to finish it, but I heard it just went absolutely balls to the wall in terms of like it just jumped from like him being a normal person to like a god within like three episodes. And I heard they skipped a lot, which is very unfortunate because I was actually very hyped for the show. And the, the fucking action was great. It was such good action. And I enjoyed the characters. I just kind of got bored. I did. I kind of got bored for some reason. I never got back into it. Maybe I'll finish it. But yeah, no, God of High School, C tier for me. Code Geass. I mean, every episode was a cliffhanger. Especially the end of season one. If I was watching season one when this shit was dropping on a weekly basis and they left me off with that cliffhanger at the end, I wouldn't even know what to do. I would, I don't know. That It was such a, oh my gosh. Every episode was good. I don't think there I'm sure there there were some boring episodes in there, I'm sure. Just by how the show is. But I mean every episode left you on edge, wanted you to made you keep wanting more. I mean, and then there was um Nina doing some table things. I mean that's the selling point right there. S tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but no, it's S tier show for real. If you haven't seen Code Geass, definitely watch it it is just so good lelouch great he is so good um mob psycho i think mob psycho while it is a great show i think it is overhyped a tad bit a tad bit i think people overhype mike mike i think people overhype mob psycho a little bit but i do still think it's an a tier show but some people say it's like s i think mob is an s tier main character i don't think the show is s tier though seven deadly sins People, a lot of people hate on Seven Deadly Sins. I thoroughly enjoyed it, kind of. I would say it's B. Yeah, I'm not taking it in B plus with Future Diary Demon Slayer Slime. No, it's B. It's a B tier show. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the story. The animation was iffy, but it was. I, Seven Deadly Sins is a very bingeable show for some reason. Like it just makes you want to keep watching, even though it's not the best content that is pushing out. But maybe that's just because there's a lot of colors. It's very vibrant. A lot of the characters are very different in terms of their look and may. I don't know. But it's a, it's a good show. It's a little bit above average. Banana Fish. I heard this show got a lot better from what I've seen. It's honestly like a D tier. And I've watched about, I think it was like five or so, five or six episodes. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't invested into the story. You know, I wasn't really invested into the story. They didn't really hook me. And I wasn't the biggest fan of it, you know, 
Um, next Claymore, man. I put the, I put Claymore in here specifically for one person, just because I watched one episode, and it's F tier. Next One Piece. No, realistically, the first episode of Claymore, it was not terrible. It was not terrible. I would realistically put the first episode of Claymore in C tier. Honestly. Honestly, it wasn't bad. It was slightly boring for the first half, and then it got better. It was it was not a bad episode for an opener, but it was it was average. Goat piece, S tier. I already know. I mean. Arguably my favorite anime. Not really arguably. It is my favorite anime on this list. I hate I hate how people just don't want I okay, I understand it's it's a long piece of work, man. It is a long piece of work. But genuine I was one of the people. I was like, why would I watch one piece? What's the point? It is a thousand episodes. When I started watching, it was like in the seven fifties, eight hundred range. But still it's like it was damn near a thousand episodes. Why would I watch this shit? This is like but no, it is so worth it because you would you would think a show can't keep being interesting for that long because you see Detective Conan. I don't know if that's interesting. It doesn't I don't know how that shit could be interesting for thirteen hundred episodes or whatever it's at. Maybe it's good. Who knows? I don't know who's watching Detective Conan on a weekly basis. Um Aside from that though, One Piece, the character building, the world building introducing so many characters and locations and just lore and background and backstory information and then you get so much character depth with the straw hats and their backstories it is just so much stuff and it is so good and it is just like why wouldn't you watch it <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like why wouldn't you watch this show i don't know but i i understand why it is intimidating it's an intimidating piece of work um I mean, it's one thing like if you're if you're an avid anime watcher, it's like you kind of just have to. You're already putting your time into all these other shows. It's like you might as well. It's like it's not like you only have to focus on it, but at least start it and then just go back to it periodically and just get through it. Because if you go back to it periodically, you're eventually going to get to a point where it starts getting really good and you're just going to keep watching it. And be like, damn, this show's fire. And it's going to keep getting better. It It's only been getting better since episode one. It's went down a couple times in some arcs. Some arcs have been shitty. I'm not going to lie. There have been like two or three arcs. There's like fucking 12 arcs. But two or three of them have been like pretty bad, mediocre. But they've still been good in terms of lore and like providing you story and plot for what's to come in the future and just setting up. But in terms of the action, they were just kind of bad. But I mean, it's not a big deal. One Piece S tier. And that's where I have it. My Hero, I haven't finished season five. I heard the last episode got kind of crazy and i heard season six is gonna go absolutely insane i heard season six is gonna go absolutely insane but i also heard that they skipped a lot of information in season five with the villains and shit i don't know what they did exactly but i do know that season six is supposedly supposed to go insane but in my opinion my hero i have enjoyed a lot of it i also haven't enjoyed a lot of it when my hero is like in its down period it really is down it like it's kind of stinky you know what i'm saying it's kind of bad i'm not a fan of when it's just like down um no i'll put in b plus i i would i would be i would be going a little overboard if i put in b it's a b plus i think it would be on the same page as future diary demon slayer yeah i think i would put it in this rank for me personally and then lastly black clover baby a oh i didn't even mean to say a but yes a a tier it's not a plus i'm also biased towards black clover i want to put black clover in s i love black clover i love everything about it the characters obviously the animation got a little shitty but i mean it only got better towards the end the animation was great i hope it comes back i hope i hope i hope it comes back i heard the manga is going absolutely nuts but I do think it is a great show. I do think it's a great show. And I think the story is deeper than a lot of people give it credit for. And I think it is a good watch. It is boring at times. That's why you got to skip the filler. But I mean, other than that, I really like the show, man. I love Black Clover. I'm not going to rearrange all these because 
that's why I added the pluses and the minuses and shit because it's like that's roughly about how it's gonna look. Um, but no, so that is the tier list of all the anime that I've seen. I'm sure I've seen a couple more, but I mean, this is my list. Maybe it may be controversial. I don't know. Again, just my opinion. Because people like what they like. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. But yeah, so that's the list. That's really it.